Kevin Rowland and Dexys, please allow me to express myself. I really want to thank DDN for putting this on. I want to thank the speakers today, really inspirational. You lot, over 500 people here again today. So I think you can give yourself a big round of applause. Three years ago, you had 500 people come to this, full of energy, willing to give, willing to have their say. And hopefully, what we're doing is cementing this as a major national user event every year, and, and we might continue. So, that's me, thanks. I also want to do two quick dedications. The one dedication is someone I never met, but I don't know if anybody knows a guy called. Howard Lotsoff, uh, an American guy who was a street user in the early 60s, where he discovered what he saw as the benefits of the drug Ibogaine in interrupting addiction and allowing people to recover. And Howard was a massive supporter of user advocacy and patient rights. He was on the board of directors for the National Association of Methadone Advocates in America. Without people like him, we probably wouldn't be here today doing this. You know, there's a big history a big international history of people doing user involvement stuff. Let him know how read his work, but he's sadly gone, and I would like to dedicate this conference to him. And also, I'd like to dedicate this conference to the nameless users in Scotland who recently died from Anfac and Fact Infection. <laughs> that's received in the English media. Maybe it's because it's not contagious and contained in an undesirable community so we don't really care about it, but why it starts affecting the real people. So it's contained, but could it have been avoided? And I don't know if you read Sarah McGrail's excellent piece in DDN, this, this recent one, but it seems that, yeah, if you have effective treatment systems and people believe in those treatment systems and access them, yeah, yeah, maybe it could have been avoided. And that's really struck home to me, the purpose of what this conference is about and the purpose of why we're all here. Forget all the rhetoric, drug use, alcohol use is still a public health issue. Yes. Yes. If it's a public health issue, it's a health issue. If it's a health issue, it's a human issue. It's not about morality or electioneering or point scoring. Drug use affects a lot of people and a lot of increasingly marginalised and disposed of people. And we need a strong voice to challenge stigma and misrepresentation, but also to promote effectiveness. And locally, that's down to you. As we've heard today, I mean, Buff's a perfect example. We can make a difference without that backing. If you've got the belief and you've got the support, we can do it. It's a long, hard slog, but hopefully if the commitment's there, the commitment's there, you can do something. And individually and collectively, we are doing that. But we need strength in numbers, both locally, and I think we need a strong, credible national voice. And the fact that you come back every year, either you believe that we could be that voice or you believe that eventually we might get there. And we want to carry on representing your needs as best as possible on a national level. We want to carry on representing and promoting the creativity and effectiveness that you as local groups are doing. And as long as you believe in us as the Alliance, we want to help be that sort of conduit and that voice for you.